Creationists love to use the phrase, evolution is just a theory. This is actually true, however words in the scientific community don't have the same meaning at all as they do in regular life. The reason for this is that scientists are commonly bombarded with new things they have to describe and they will make up the best name they can think of to describe it on the fly, usually using a hybridized terms from the language they have. Also, since we are a multilingual world, translators will have to come up with the best translation of the word the person was trying to use. Because of this, we may make a word that means one thing to a normal person, but sometimes barely recognizable to the original word. One good example of making up words in science is in nuclear reactors. The term scram means to cause an immediate shutdown of the reactor by allowing the poison control rods to drop into the reactor core. Poison is a chemical that will absorb neutron flux and prevent enough nuclear reactions from becoming self-sustaining or critical. Critical is a term that means that the number of nuclear reactions make enough neutrons to cause an equal number of nuclear reactions. Which is why nukes always laugh when people freak out in movies when they say the reactor is going critical. It's always going critical or else it won't work. The term critical came from back in the early 1900s where a university in Chicago set up the first nuclear reactor behind the bleachers because they didn't know yet that radiation was dangerous. The poison rods were hung by a rope from above the critical mass and when they reached supercriticality meaning it produced more reactions than it initially had, a guy with an axe would quickly cut the rope and the poison would fall into the core and stop the reaction. From that they coined the term scram, of which there are several disputed words of what it initially meant, but the most common one is supercritical reactor axe man. The re last two words of the acronym are not disputed and it has been used ever since in the nuclear community. Now, if you were to judge all of these words in the common definition, you would have a completely different translation. And the thing is, even in the English language, there are multiple definitions for a single word. So to someone who knows nothing about in the nuclear community, the phrase, the reactor was scrammed using poison because it was critical, could be taken to have multiple meanings. One example is, the suggestible person was harshly told to leave with threat of a harmful substance because he was criticizing too much. The same thing is true about how creationists use the term theory. Yes, evolution is a theory, but in the scientific world, theory is a model used to explain facts, and from these facts, predict observations it should see. If new facts come to light, the theory will either fall into disuse or become modified. The theory of evolution has changed and been altered and improved since Darwin first proposed it, just as the theory of gravity has gone through the same rigors since Newton first proposed it. With new findings, we can fine-tune a theory th so that we will be able to much better predict what we will observe in the future. In fact, the theory of evolution is better tuned than the theory of gravity. We know how and why evolution works, and almost all of our predictions have come true now that we have more time, manpower, and money to find more fossils. And every single one has fit our predictions. Why and how gravity works is still a mystery. Voyager probe defied the theory of gravity because it is now slightly off course of trajectory as it is the first object we have that is outside our galaxy. Something about the theory of gravity is wrong and will need fine-tuning with more knowledge, but that's not enough to discard it because there are flaws in it. The theory of evolution is actually stronger than the theory of gravity, but words have multiple meanings even in the English language, and even more so in the scientific community. So yes, evolution is just a theory the same way the sun is just a star, denial is just a river in Egypt, and Hitler was just a...